Long Island, New York. Welcome you to Dre's house, to Dre's house, to Dre's house, to Dre's house, to Dre's house.
before I let you Before I let There's, there it is, there it is. That's what I was looking for, my hand clap. What's all good? What's going, What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another broadcast of Dre's House. Welcome to the building. Let me give a quick shout-out to my girl, uh, well, not my girl, uh, Mrs. DJ Chaos and stuff. My bad. You know, she, she tuned in. Don't get mad. <laughs> she tuned in and stuff like that, so I got you, Michelle. Uh, we got the original DJ Chaos rocking out Long Island Legend. He's rocking out. We got Karen B. in the back taking pictures. Finally got her back up here. And as you see, you're <laughs> yeah. And you see, I got sitting across from me some up and coming designers, fashion line. I mean, what else y'all do? Model. Model, okay. Tiffany model. We're gonna get to that. <laughs> and we, this is Law right here. So this is um, Law Clothing Line. What did the LA, LAW mean? It stands for Loyalty, Authority, Wealth Collection. All right, cool, cool. So we got them up here. As y'all can see, Okay, you can't really see that good, but we're going to work on that. Because I'm going to have them pick this up. They got some some gear. I've seen some of their gear at a fashion show that I had one of a kind uh, performing at. And they got some nice stuff. I'm, I'm going to save the one that I like at the end. Because I, I like the one at the end and stuff. So we're going to save that to the end. But uh, real quick, I just need for y'all to talk into the mic. All right. My man over here with all this bling and everything. We're going to jump right into the show. I get my <laughs> shout outs on the break. You know. So we got Law and, um, and Tiffany. A.K.A. T.E. Line, the model. See, I was getting to that. I read. The, I, I, I read. Me too. I okay. read. I was okay. getting to that. I was getting to that. Let me, let me do me. Right. I want people to know you. Yeah. So we're going to start. I mean, what was the vision? I mean, how did this all this start? You know, y'all just started rocking this out. Honestly, to tell you the truth, the way it started was me getting a tattoo at first of a crown. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not really, you know, into tattoos like that. So I was like... I could turn this into a clothing line. All right. Something that I could wear, like clothes wise. But then I thought about it as being something bigger. Like as a brand. Like if I, I see how like other people have clothing lines and all that stuff. And I just wanted to do the same thing and show people that if you put your mind to it, you can have your own business at All the end of the day. All right. Now, y'all don't know, my man said he was nervous. So we know we don't be nervous at Dre's house, do we, Fred? That's right. Karen, that's right. We don't do nervous at that. So this is what we're gonna do. we're gonna need for make sure everybody can hear you. Just tilt the mic down a little bit. I'm gonna need for you to talk into the mic because you're talking really low. I know you talk louder than that. I heard you at the fashion show. Oh, you hear me? You hear me? There we go. There we go. All I right, need for you to you rock go, out right like there. that. All right. No doubt. I was under, I would understand if that was Tiffany talking. Okay. You gotta, okay. You gotta, <laughs> we don't do that nervousness here. All right. This is. Come back, you know, kick back and stuff. Maybe Jay Prez will share her food soon or whatever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, she ain't sharing her food. <laughs> so, so like, how, how long this has been going on? Um, Since 2013. Oh, y'all really fresh. Yeah. All right. So, what, was it hard, like, just getting it started? Or, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, what, coming up with different designs and all that stuff. Right now, we've got about, like, 10 designs. And we got, like, 50 designs and stash, you know. That's uh, ready to go. All right. You know, but so, we want to move these designs that we have right now. All right. Now, from what I was reading, is Tiffany's the designer? She's no, the, I'm the CFO. Oh, it said designer. I'm a designer. Okay, I'm just I'm just going by what I read. I'm the co-founder. Okay. I also help design. All right. Well, everybody, this is Tiffany, a.k.a. T-L, T-L model. I mean, T period E-L-I. Mm-hmm. Hey. I know I'm right. T. Eli, the model. Oh, there we go. I didn't want to say it like that. T. Eli, the model. Yes. As you can see, she's like mad tall, you know. So she definitely, I saw some of your pictures on your, your some of your modeling things like that. She's doing her thing. She got that stand and stuff. Y'all better step up your game, people. She ain't playing around. You step up your game. She got that strut. Yeah. Don't be working. messing around. We working. 
So, I mean, so, you know, not to get in y'all business. Y'all a couple, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's my fiance so, right there. Uh, oh, no, she didn't pop the ring up for me. Yeah. She popped the ring up for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had to put a ring on that yeah. one. All right. Yeah. I ain't making you listen. Yeah, she was listening to that Beyonce, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of times she was in the club doing that. Like, I guess giving me a sign. Hello, hello, yeah. hello. Waking up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Uh, you uh, want uh, pancakes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. all good, though. I mean, if y'all can work together, that's really all cool and stuff because the designs are like, like the crown and the lettering and stuff. It, like, you know, like really, it really stands out. But you, you gave me the acronyms of it. So, I mean, evidently that means a lot and stuff. So, yeah, definitely. So, what exactly does that mean to y'all? Well, it's, well I mean, the meaning of it is um, if you look at the crown, you see the L, the A, and the W in the crown. A lot of people don't know that, so I break it down to them. They're like, oh. You know, that's the first time I've seen that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you, see, you know, it stands for you know, stands for a king, you know, stands for royalty. Um, the L is for the loyalty. The loyalty for your people, the authority to make the right decisions in life, and the wealth to take care of your kingdom. You okay. Know? And as, as y'all probably can't see everything, but they do have women wear too. Oh, yes, put definitely. That, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely put that this up. This is the sweater dress that we made. Let's face it towards the camera. Uh, Oh, that's a sweater. That's a dress? Yeah, that's a dress. <laughs> Where's you the rest of it? Yeah. <laughs> dress for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serious. This is a dress None for girls the ladies. girls we date. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> they love it. Yeah, we have all sizes in these. Plus all right. sizes as well. So y'all do plus sizes, kids? Yes. Yeah. Every, yeah, I remember the little the little girl. She was stepping and stuff in the fashion show. Uh-huh. I love her. That's pretty, that's pretty cool and stuff. We do aim towards the children because, you know, the brand represents royalness. And, you know, when you put on the clothes, you feel, feel like somebody, you feel royal, like a king and a queen. All right. That we are. And for the, for the kids, future, uh, you know, future, ki- future kings, mm-hmm. and you got the future um, queens out right. there. Now, I see y'all promoting a lot of stuff, and I see y'all, like, different events or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your vision of taking this? Well, definitely, it's, it's going to be... It's, going to be more than just a clothing line uh, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reach out to different organizations and all that stuff and show them what I'm trying to do. And the main thing I'm trying to do is reach out to these young kids out here and teach them like like we were kings back in the days. You know, we were born kings. We we are royalty. You know, you don't got to be called the N-word. Mm-hmm. You're not a, a, the N-word. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it. Um, and you're not and I hear people saying, well, what up, boy? What up, boy? You know, that's what they used to, to say, you know, back in the slavery days. Right, right. You know, so I'm trying to reach out, you know, say that you're a king. You know, say that you're a queen. You know, you're young. Say I'm a young prince. You know, I'm a prince. You know, I'm a, a future king. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm glad you said that because, um, like, from the time I seen you and the style that both of y'all have and everything, it's like, if you see her come in, when you see her come in, she came in very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Very confident, classy, very That's classy, but very sexy. Yes, nothing's hanging out. She's covered, but it is so classy. She's rocking the hills. Yep, rocking the hills because she's mm-hmm. mad tall. What are you, how tall are you about? Like, I'm six feet. Seriously? Yeah. And you got all legs. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 he couldn't even stop laughing on that one. <laughs> That's, that's cool though <laughs> Because I mean That's one thing You know Very big on Like for the youth And everything Yeah Is you don't have to be Having your pants sagging You don't have to do that To, exactly. have, to have style Exactly You know So that's good You know A young brother like yourself Because both of y'all are young But y'all showing the example And mm. I pretty much like that Y'all ever thought about Like giving a workshop Oh on? definitely Definitely You know Reaching out to the kids Teaching the kids That they can just Start their own business And right. all that stuff You know Like I, Like I think about Like like people out there like Michael Jordan. I think about um the cats from Fubu, Jay Z. You know, they all had clothing line and all that stuff. Right. And if they could do it, why can't why can't we? All right. Mm-hmm. Only thing only person can stop it is yourself. Exactly. You just gotta have that vision and that dream and just reach your goals. And Definitely. Like, so, you know, like with everything you're doing and stuff, how do you handle the the finances oh, Tiffany. How do you handle the finances <laughs> of this? <laughs> Miss CFO. Well, 
It's definitely a challenge because it's it's an extra in your everyday life. Mm-hmm. Rent, bills, we all have that. And this is like a side hustle that we have. And it takes money to make money. Exactly. And, sure. you know, it's hard to get the support that we need because people are like, well, what is loyalty authority wealth? It's not, you know, rock aware, you right. know. And it's kind of a shame that your own people don't support you, but that shouldn't stop you. You just keep going. And we just, you know, use what we have, and we try to get the message out there. And we are great believers in Christ. So we know that put God first. put God first, and all those things will be added. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Now, where, where are y'all from? I'm from Bushwick, Brooklyn. All right. Brooklyn, Canarsie. Parents is from... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm like, are you Here gonna we go. <laughs> but um, you know, that's pretty cool and stuff that you know, being from Brooklyn, I'm not from Brooklyn, but be, both of y'all being from Brooklyn and everything, and putting this out because y'all have a lot of product, you know, a yeah. lot of different things, and you know, like for doing this like for two years, y'all y'all done some things and stuff. I, I love the concept. Y'all got to see this sweatshirt. Hold that sweatshirt up for me, man. Yeah. This sweatshirt is ridiculous this right is, here. You really want to make a statement. Lime green and platinum. All right. Let's, you hold that side. I'll hold this side. All right. Y'all got to check this out right here. This, I love the logo. I love the logo. And it's just. That's that silver metallic. Yeah. On there. That, that's, that's dope. That's you dope. Know. I, would, I would want something like this, but I would want a black one with a silver metallic. Put the bit in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put the bit in. Stuff. <laughs> Got you. <bro>. All right. <laughs> Definitely. And the other shirt you had, the white one. I think that's the one I saw. Oh, um, great. Right. Yeah, let me, let me put that up. Yeah. And this one I like too. This is one people should like get. If you do an event, definitely get this one right here. Yeah. And if you're doing something with the kids, like we were kings, let's claim our crown. That's how. Yeah. That's right. I like that one. You like that one? I like that one. I like that that's one pretty too. cool right there. <laughs> so that's good, you know, like y'all putting God first because you can tell with everything that you're doing, it has some concept with that. Yes. You know? Definitely. So, like, where, where do you see this? You know, what's the next step for y'all? Because right now, believe it or not, this is second interview. You know? Yeah. Like, so you got to get on the grind and stuff. But, you know, once you, once you get in that circuit and stuff, wh- what, do you, what is the next thing y'all looking at doing? We're trying to put our clothes in stores. You know, mm-hmm. trying to get it out there in stores because right now we're just off Instagram and trying to get social media to just, you know, recognize what we're trying to do and also try to sell off Instagram and Facebook. But we want to actually have our own, you know, product in stores so that way you can see that it's actually out there and it makes us feel good that people are buying our brand and they're representing what our vision is. Because we are kings and we are queens. And once we put on the clothes, we feel like royalty. You know, sometimes you you are what you wear. Like, if you decide to put on sweatpants and a t-shirt, you're going to feel like sweatpants and a t-shirt. But imagine you just have on a crown and then it has a saying, like, I am a king. That's confidence all in itself. Yeah, it I gives you to confidence. Get my Eddie Murphy on. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that, that's pretty cool. We're going to go on a quick break. You ready, Chaos? Oh, my bad. <laughs> We're going to go on a quick break. We got we got Law. I'm going to just call him Law. His name is Lawrence, but we'll call him Law. We got T. 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 Eli, model. Yes. There we go. We got the original DJ Chaos. We got Karen B. taking the pictures. I'm Mr. J. I'm Mr. Dre. All right. J. Prez in the back and stuff. We'll be right back.
show started to back up again Michelle I was chewing gum that's why I stuttered she tried to call me out <laughs> so I was chewing gum so Tracy the gum is gone Michelle the gum is gone y'all leave me alone all right now <laughs> wife trying to check me <laughs> much love to Michelle though all right so we back here with um Lawrence and Tiffany aka uh, law clothing line. Now, real quick, you gotta see this dude's shirt. You know, just just walk out there and just walk in front of the camera. And just post yourself up there and stuff. Oh, okay. oh this shirt right here. Is, is oh, you got it in the okay. I thought you had it in the bag. Just just real quick, now I want everybody to see this shirt because the young kids gotta see this. If you want to get your sports on and stuff like that. You know, I don't like Brooklyn Nets though, but still, no, you gotta come over right here. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I just wanted them to see that real quick. The Brooklyn Nets joint. So, y'all y'all can do any sports team, right? Yankees, Jets, Giants. I mean, all New York teams are my team. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah. Well, I did this. This is for you. Got to talk to the mic, though. Come on now. This right here. You know I'm gonna talk about you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this right here is for my boy Denim Sharp. He's trying to start up a movement right now. Okay. A, um, rap artist right now from um from Queens. He's he's talking about like you know. People wearing tight jeans and all that stuff, pants sagging and all that. You know what I'm saying? That sound like Big so, Lee. So <laughs> you know he's trying to bring he's trying to bring back New York. 
All right. You know, shout out to Denim Sharp, you know. All right. Now, I always ask this question to music artists that I have up here. Now, I got two different ones for y'all. Now, I'm going to go with you first there, Lawrence. I'm just going to call you Law. Mm. Um, who are your top five designers? Top five designers? No, wow. top five fashion lines. One first is going to be um, Rockaway. Love Rockaway. Mm-hmm. Um, Kooji. Um, Fubu. Uh, what else? Sean John. And I'm not really into I'll say Gucci. Hmm. Now, as you know, he went very urban with that. So that yeah, was that I was like interesting. Urban more than anything. And that was interesting. I kind of thought, I kind of threw up my thoughts. You was going to say, but you know, you didn't and stuff. So kind of threw me off there. So that's all good. Now I'm gonna ask uh, the model here, Miss Tiffany T. Eli, d- model. Yeah, right. you got it. Who are your top five models? My top five models. You thought I was going to say designers, huh? Yeah, I was over here thinking, like, mm, uh, no, no. <laughs> We don't do it like that. Okay, that's good. Um, top five? Yeah. You know, any order of yours. I do admire Tyra Banks, of course. Okay. You know, she's a mogul. She's doing it all. Um, Naomi Campbell. Legend. You tripping sometimes. Me, myself, and I. There it is. That's what I <laughs> see. That's what I was expecting to hear. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. She's confident about herself. I'm that, that's what talk. I'm talking about. Yes. All right. Now, um, with everything that y'all doing, all right. Now, do you see yourself like doing like going on to like I don't want to say Project Runway, but I've been seeing a lot. A lot of people are doing concepts. Or, you know, starting their own little doing um little treatments for. Like designers, urban designers, the clothing line. I've seen like five different projects that popped up. Oh know? yeah, definitely. You know, would you, would y'all consider doing something like that or whatever? Project Runway. Well, not necessarily Project Runway, but it's basically the same thing, but they're trying to make it more urban. Of course. Yeah, Anywhere definitely. where we can get our brand out there and just show the world what we're doing, we're with it. All right. Now, how important is y'all? Is it to y'all to? Uh, to get the brand out but still be true to yourself because a lot of people especially with music yeah. you know they sell themselves to the devil you know no, that's not happening right so how you know because people could say like okay maybe you need to do it do it like this or whatever i can't see any changes yeah we you know? one thing we went we're not doing we're not putting no skulls no or nothing skulls. like that bones or we bones. don't we ain't doing nothing like that without clothing on right now can y'all like, represent that can y'all basically like you know just say somebody from like florida or she was from Texas. A Texas. Mm-hmm. couple of people from uh, California. These are questions they was asking me. Could y- are y'all able to ship? Oh, yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah, we know shipping right. and handling and mm-hmm. all that stuff. All right, so all they got to do. Now, I, t- I was talking to you, and you said how people can see some of your stuff. Yeah, on Instagram and also on on um, Facebook. Okay. But they can email me at um, info clothing line, law clothing line. Yeah, don't, 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 mess, don't mess the email <laughs> out now. Let me, let me say it again. <laughs> let me say it one more time so y- y'all can hear me out there. It's info law clothing line at gmail dot com. <laughs> so she checked you real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should say it one more time. <laughs> right. No, you so, good, you good. So I, I mean, won't eat the cake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, family show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so like um with everything that y'all doing, like, has anybody ever just came to y'all and said, like, like another designer trying to undercut you or something like that or whatever? No, nah, we ain't. Y'all haven't came to that yet? No. It's coming, but, I mean, that's yeah, good that y'all haven't came to that no. being two years in the game. or what. There's a lot of snakes in this game, oh, though. Oh, definitely, definitely. That trying to see what you're doing, what's your vision and all that stuff. Like, yo, how you do this? How you do that? Where mm. can I get this? Where can I get that? You know, there's a few people that support me and help me out. With, with certain things if I need help shout out to um Antoine you know McLean he has his own clothing line um KT apparel creative thinking mm-hmm. you know and that's that's like my big brother right there he supports us a lot that's without good. clothing line that's good um now another thing I want to know is like when you first decided to do this mm-hmm. what was the first thing you did I was just a regular dude playing basketball out in the, you know, just working hard, 
No, 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 no. That's not where I'm going with that. I got well, that was going to be later on, but yeah. you know, since you on that now, <laughs> I mean, to work with my question. Okay, <laughs> don't work with me. No, nah, I'm just messing with you. Well, I mean, like, okay, because like for me, like I said, okay, I'm gonna do this radio thing. Just yeah. out of the blue, I didn't know it was gonna get as big as it did, but you know, it's like there was a process that you have to go through. You know, what was the first thing that you did? Because I'm just, you know, because I want people who are thinking about, especially the young kids that's thinking about oh, getting definitely. a fashion line, I want them to know the process of what, how you did to get to where you at now. Yeah, the first thing I had to do was just draw out the images and stuff like that. Then find out the sources, where to get stuff printed out. Um, if you want to do embroidery, you get get that stuff done. Where, where's the companies for that? Um, where to get stuff first, where to get stuff wholesale also. Because a lot of people, they go to these stores and shirts be like $10. And you can get a shirt for actually cheaper if really? you go wholesale. Yeah, definitely. I'm slipping. <laughs> I, I had my to do my bulk. Yeah, I used, I used to just go buy one shirt, like and it was like oh twenty dollars for a shirt, and I'm like ah twenty dollars, that's too much. And then somebody put me on, it's like yeah you can get that for like this 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 amount. I'm not gonna say that amount. Right, right, I got right. you, I got you know what I'm saying? Put on blast. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell them the amount, you know. But yeah, it's, you got to do your research when it comes to this stuff. All right, now how is it working together? Well, this is actually Lawrence's brand. This is his idea. This is his design. I've actually partnered up with Lawrence in 2013. He's been had the vision. So when I, you know, was approached with his vision, I was like, you know what, babe? You actually got something good going. I want to partner up with you, and I want to take this to the next level. Let's do it. Well, she's, right. she's definitely a big help to the company, you know. And I'm glad to have her as a partner in the company. You know, she helped out a lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. Oh, <laughs> that's because the camera's on. That. Be real, man. <laughs> no, <I don't> mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm being for real. She know that. I say that to her every day. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool and stuff because, you know, when I, when I look at everything, and I'm glad you said embroidered. Yeah. Because it was... Um, I think it was that gray shirt. I would love to see that embroidered. Yeah, it's you know, is it a different price? What's the average price of everything that you have, like for t-shirts and hats? Well, the, the t-shirts I sell them for um for twenty. Okay. Um, the snapbacks is um certain snapbacks is um thirty five. Okay. The sum is um twenty twenty five. Do you do any uh, fitted hats? Oh yeah, we do for this okay, also. Okay, cool. I'll make sure about that. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I know fit. a lot of people don't wear snapbacks. Nah, you know. So I only do fit it. Yeah. All right. We, we definitely do that. Matter of fact, where is my hat? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go out. It's cold out there. All right. Now, I'm. What you know? How do y'all come up with the logo? Because I'm seeing different, different logo, um, logo, not logos, sayings mm -hmm. on that. You know, I'm seeing like this one's like future. Was that future king? Mm -hmm. Future king. That's right. what. That's like a kid's shirt it's right for there. The babies. So, so, do y'all do like newborns and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, newborns. we definitely do newborns. We do. All right. well, well, a we friend do of mine. Yeah, we did we don't onesies. We not have any right now. We just gave them away. Okay, but I'm going to need some onesies because I'm about to be a grandfather. Oh, okay. So, okay. I'm going to need some onesies and stuff. Definitely. All right, okay. congratulations. There it is. Yes. The registry is done. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the onesies. Yes. I'm good. <laughs> Baby Law. Yes. We got right. the. <laughs> I, that is cool and stuff, and for only be doing it two years and stuff. So, like, you, you got this. Is there anything else that y'all looking at and boarded? I mean, like, you know, you got the clothing line. I know you modeling and everything. I know y'all kind of put that together. Definitely, Are you looking yeah. at expanding out further than that, like jewelry or? or um, I want to get into like more high fashion later. You know, um, probably make some button up shirts. You know, nice glamorous um, suits. Suits and dresses for the ladies. Um, also, I, I love to I love I love to dress up. I love to wear my gator shoes, my suit, three piece suit. All right, you iceberg know. slim up yeah, in this you know piece. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. A, I also want to have like cufflinks, custom made cufflinks. Have like out of the crown cufflinks, maybe the L A W cufflinks. So if anybody know where to get that done, custom made, holla at me. Uh, I think I might not. And yeah. So have y'all looked at going to like the conventions and stuff like that? Definitely. You know, I know you and I talk. Yeah, about we it, definitely yeah, talk about that. We, we definitely want to take this to Vegas yeah. for the Magic Convention. It's a must. 
you should just go to model. Right. You know, you should just go to model. But it's a must. A lot of a lot of people's stuff got found. Like Fubo was found there. Um, when you go there, everybody's there, and they're already looking for the next big thing. They're looking for the next clothing line that's the big thing, mm. and also the next um, music artist that's going to be the big thing. Mm. So that's definitely yeah, you definitely know. we need that. So I mean, you know, I can give y'all the information on that, but y'all just should definitely try, my phone cut off. But y'all should definitely try it out because that is a must. Okay. Extreme must. You know. So like, you was born on Long Island, but raised in Brooklyn. Yeah, Long Long Island. Um, what you call? It? Hospital. Long Island Hospital? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not Queens. No, 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 no. Long that's Island right Hospital. that's right downtown. You know on Atlantic Avenue. That's not Long Island, no. Long no, the co- the Long Island College Hospital. Oh. Is that what I read? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the college part. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking like you was born in Long Island. Right? Yeah, Stuff nah. you don't know. Right? Like, what is this? <laughs> nah. Nah. How do you, how do your family feel about everything that y'all doing and stuff? Family? Uh oh. Yeah, they support us. They do. Okay. They definitely support us. We have us. supporters, you know. Yeah. But it's up to us to keep it going. Right. You know, mm-hmm. we have to have the drive because no one's gonna push us. It's our dream, not theirs. You know, so exactly. Okay. Everybody has their own dream. So how do y'all handle people's like you know like I've seen like some shows and they have fashion people there or whatever and stuff. And there's some people like, oh, that stuff is garbage or whatever. I've seen that yeah. right, right when they was had the tape off. Wow. I seen that. I was like, oh, that's that's rough. You know, you don't never say that. But how 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 would y'all handle that? that I'll just say thank you for your opinion and then keep it moving and just laugh at them. Now what you should do and so like thank you for your opinion. You want a t-shirt? Yeah, his yeah, t-shirt, got, right? And, you know, like these are twenty, but they're twenty-five. You know. Yeah. You gotta give them back somehow and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You should do like um original DJ Chaos shirt. I could do that, throw the crown on there, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. I was thinking, you see you see you see, you see how you see how perfect it fits, the crown? Yeah. He's over there contemplating our whole new conversation. Yeah. It's perfect. Up on the weed with first. Yeah. Yeah, I I like that and stuff, so thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, I just had to clap. And oh, apparently, you yeah. clap on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if that's what you feel like doing. Mm-hmm. So, now, and I know for you know for a fact that y'all like like different artists, you know they doing a show or whatever. Mm-hmm. People don't realize that's a, one of the number one ways for people to see your gear. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. You know, there's a lot of people like, oh, you have to buy my stuff for, you know, I would say like, don't give it to everybody. No, no, definitely. but I'm sure people have come to you and it's like, yo, I'm doing this show. You know, you want to sponsor me and stuff like that. Yeah, How definitely. do you go about choosing who you want to do that for? Uh, it it depends on the lyrics, first of all, because okay. we don't support all music. If you're out there talking about, oh, I'm shaking my behind and doing, you know, I, you know, like we don't support that type of music. Violence, talking about shoot 'em up, bang bang stuff. We're not with that. That's not what the brand is about. Okay. That's one thing. It's about positivity. Positive, yeah, exactly. That kind of works because I, I know like one of a kind y'all work with. Yeah, mm-hmm. shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to. Uh, they did their thing at the fashion show. Yeah. Oh yeah. They shut it down. They, they shut it down. I'm now glad who they put that fashion up. show together? We Both did. of us. Okay. We definitely did. It and shout like out. <laughs> 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 what just happened? <laughs> no, I just wanted to say shout out to my um my father for help. He really helped us out with that. Uh, shout out, his name is Lawrence McNeil. Yeah, senior. he helped us out with the place. You know, finding a place Definitely. is you know tough. Yeah, that's too. tough. That's tough. Yeah. You know, because I was, I felt a little uncomfortable. I was like, okay, are we in a church? You know, yeah. and then I'm, I'm worrying about <laughs> Lee. You know, wow. but I mean, like, I just love the fact that you know the fashion, the models came out. You know, yeah, and then I love the little kids. Yeah, especially that little girl and stuff. She was just cracking me up. I was like, yes, I love that little girl. She was like <laughs> so funny, but she she was making it happen. Mm-hmm. She was like, oh, step up your game, people. Yeah, she was yes. making the the older models like step up your game. Yeah, they had a great time. Now. They had a great time. Yeah, that I was that it. was a good event and stuff. I mean. Y'all should, you know, my opinion. Are y'all looking at doing fashion shows? Like, I know it's cold now, so, I, you know, we're prepping for doing something in the city. Oh, we, well. In I, the city? I mean, we have a few upcoming fashion shows that we are going to be showcasing, vending. So, you know, just having a table out there. And any show that I do, 
like a fashion show that I do on the side, I would ask them, hey, I have my own clothing line. Right. Can I vent at your show? And that's also what I do to get right. the, the line, the brand out there. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. So I, I'm, I'm glad y'all came through. Thank we you make sure this stuff, I'm going to make sure this stuff get pushed out once I get my stuff. Oh, definitely. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I want that, that sweatshirt, mm-hmm. but I want that embroidered on it, the, um, where I came, um, the, the one on the gray shirt. Okay, cool. I want that embroidered on it. You know, in Dre's house. Uh, so let everybody know where they can find you up. I mean, first thing, you was talking about upcoming events. Where's your next up, next event? Okay. Well, we're not too sure, but we will have it up on Facebook okay. and Instagram. All right. And just let me know. I'll make sure that I get out to everybody. Oh. All right. And where everybody can find y'all at? Tiffany, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Tiffany. Well, you know, if you're looking for a model on your runway, you know, I'm very professional. Uh-huh. I'm very classy. <laughs> and, you know, the people love me when I'm out there and I'm on the runway. You know, I give life. So you can find me on Facebook at T. Eli. The model. model. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook.com. And on Instagram, I'm T. Eli, the model. So it's T. Eli underscore the model on Instagram. All you, everybody who got fashion um, and everybody who loves fashion, y'all make sure y'all go to our page and look at our pictures. You got to get some videos up there, you know. Yes. I think you have some. Was I'm there some on Instagram? Some. There's sure. one on Instagram. Yeah, I thought I remember seeing something. Yeah. But definitely, you, you, you do I'm your thing. I'm still learning how to edit videos. And oh, I don't know how to do that. When, right. you, when you figure out, let me know. I will. <laughs> All, right. All right. And uh, Law? And you can find me at uh, Law Clothing Line. You know, that's the Twitter and the Instagram. And also, we're working on the website. It's going to be lawclothingline.com. So, that'll be up soon. Also, the Facebook is Loyalty Authority Wealth Collection. Hit us up on there. And hit that like button. Right. All right. I'll make sure that stuff. I'll put that up on my page too, so everybody can get to. So I appreciate y'all coming out. Thank I'm you. I'm glad for y'all wasn't happens. nervous. Well, I know you. I ain't worried about you. you ain't nervous. Law. I'm glad you're not. <laughs> nervous. Yeah, I'm getting used to this. Yeah, there you go. It's to Tiff- get used Tiffany's to this. like, yo, I'm out there anyway, so it is what it is. Right. She was cool. She was cool. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. But definitely got to come back again. When you know, get some different stuff and everything, because I know this is yeah. like not even the beginning There's of what y'all going to this, do. You yes. know? Yeah. Levels so this. definitely, I know I want onesies. Okay. That and a sweatshirt. Gotcha. Just tell me how much it is, and we're good. All definitely. right. Let me get the Dre's house discount. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. No doubt. Talk. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. We about to put some orders in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's definitely no, I'm great. About Oh, oh no no we ain't got time for that. Uh, we, okay. That's gonna be another comment. That's a two hour conversation. We ain't got time for that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna like uh, we're gonna go on break here. We got my man Petter Wayne coming up. Y'all gonna be astounded about what's about to go down. We got these outstanding designers: Tiffany, Law, T. Eli Model. Yeah. See, I'm gonna make sure I say that every time. Thanks. You know, y'all make sure y'all check this young lady out. You make sure you check Law out. Watch one of a kind. They will be wearing yes. hit their stuff. Loyalty, Not the female stuff, authority, but the Authority, wealth collection. There it is. Sure so we're going to go on out. break. The original DJ Chaos. I'm Mr. Dre. KB in the back taking pictures. J Press, take us on break and put that fly up for me, please. We'll be right back.
Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back. This is Dre's house. I'm your boy, Mr. Dre. We got the original DJ Chaos. He is rocking out, playing all the classics. And right now we have Apollo Legend sitting in the building. We got my man Peter Way in the building. Is that correct? I'm getting it right. Evidently, I'm doing some wrong stuff, but I got to correct myself. Thanks for correcting me. Thanks for coming out, my brother. Thank you for having me. What's going on with y'all up in here? Not much and stuff. I mean, I've been trying to get you up here for a minute, but you've been busy. Extremely busy. Uh, so, I mean, you know, like, I mean, I see you, like, every time I turn around, I see a post, like, you performing here. You just performed uh, this Sunday at uh, Red Rooster, I believe. Every Sunday, I'm at the Red Rooster with the Nate Lucas All-Stars, me, Matt Badnero on drums. John Smith on guitar, Reggie Woods on saxophone, and the legendary Nate Lucas on organ and keyboard. We did each and every Sunday from 7 to 11. So if you're tired of the same spots that y'all be at on Sundays, come on down to the Red Rooster. All right. I just need for you to speak up on the mic there and stuff. We'll make sure we get everything that you're saying because this is very important to me. So, like... You've you done the Apollo. You've been singing. I'm, I'm assuming you were singing since you was a young, at a young age and stuff. Six years old, Six yeah. years old. And I'm starting in church? Yeah. Started out singing in church and just took it from there. Like, let, been led by the Spirit. Just do what I need to do. All right. So what was, what was, made you just want to start singing? Is it just something that you just overcome? You just went ahead and did it? Um, when you look at... The, the type of music that we had back then, it was music that was appreciated. And I come from the era where we didn't have to say certain things in the lyrics to get our point across. We um, basically, now there's so many things that's going on in this music business. Right. Uh, so, but, <laughs> uh, so... I'm just glad to be in, I won't call it a lane, I call it space, because lanes is meant to be switched on, space is like, you're not nowhere where I'm at, I'm sliding space. Okay, now who, who are some of the people, because I've been talking a lot about you, and I got people watching from Florida as well, uh, some people that you have performed with and for. Okay, um, open up for R. Kelly in the Bahamas. Joe, Melissa Morgan, Hi Melissa, Freddie Jackson, Melba Moore, Gladys Knight, Temptations Review, Patti LaBelle, The Intruders, The Manhattans. Oh, I know that list is long. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop it right there because I know that list is long. I could keep going on. Like, like I've been doing this for 23 years. So I think when I met you, I remember when I was talking to you and Chaos introduced us. And I was asking you, like, I knew who you, I was, I was like, I know him from somewhere. I couldn't remember. You just said Google you. Yeah. I, and that I, wasn't, I wasn't being, like, funny about it. No, no. But, <laughs> but, you know, it was good that you said that because one thing I keep going back and looking at is the R, opening up for R. Kelly, the yeah. outstanding job. That's just crazy. Thanks, man. I love that. The way, the way you just kept, you know, just got the crowd and the music and, you know, just like a group I work with, it's that feel-good music. It's yeah. real music. You know, and I love that feeling and stuff. You just got that vibe. Thank you. Actually, last week made the, the, the four year, and I think it was four years ago. No, three years ago, three year anniversary that open arms out in the Bahamas. Now, how, how many people do you know coming from the place that I'm in? A little Harlem cat like me, fat guy, <laughs> goes over to the Bahamas and get welcome armed by the prime minister. Where he telling me, like, come over here, sit, sit with us. Being escorted to the stage with arms out, like, like people trying to touch you. And it's like some real Michael Jackson type feel. And that's like, and it's not being funny, but that's where I go. We just had a show on Sunday and I couldn't even sit down because people kept coming over to our table taking pictures and and it's a it's a, it, it, it's cool sometimes but sometimes you just want to eat the, eat your cake and <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit down and just like yeah but i mean you're that good so you have to suck that one up uh, you're, you're i'm still learning the art i'm at, at the age that i'm in and things that i'm doing in life i'm still learning i have reinvented myself chaos can tell you i've been doing this for a while i started out as a producer 
Right. Crazy shout out. February, actually February 11, um, 1992 was one of my premier things that I did on the Lord Finesse Return of the Funky Man album. Produced two tracks with that lost track. But before then, Africa Bambada gave me the chance to perform with Fonda Ray very special that was like two years before that so i've been i've been busy we ain't gonna talk about the way the houston project that's that's ridiculous i used to throw that out there and not talk about <laughs> it i mean like seriously because it's like you know you you, you have all these people who have got have accolades and they, they they throw them up in your face i'm the type i i, I go to sleep and i wake up and I look at my Facebook page and I look at all these people talking about, I'm doing it, I'm doing that. And I think I spoke to Cass about this last night. And I look at them like, God bless you. I'm very happy for you. And that keeps my blessings flowing because I'm truly happy for them that they're doing what they do. I'm, I'm not mad at you, but um, don't don't get me started, though, please. <laughs> Well, I know one thing about you. You don't, you know, like like you said, you're not doing this. Like, like a real artist, he's humble enough that he lets his stage performance, his music, oh, yeah, you, you know, yeah. speak for itself. It's like a, a, a prize boxer. I'm not going to talk about knocking you out. I ain't going to say nothing. You can say, you can talk about what you're going to do to me and all that. Just don't put me on before you or let me go on after you. Oh, Am I lying? Don't put me. <laughs> don't. That's gangster. Right? I'm not playing. I'm not. I'm being humble. Like, don't put me on before you, and don't let me go on after you. All right. That's just a. What What was the first? How old was you when you first did a performance and you got paid? Oh wow, I was paid. I, I gotta think back that far. Okay. People want to know. Um, I said I was um. Let's, let's let's go back to the to the early nineties when we, <laughs> when when you can if you know about the early nineties let's talk about the early nineties high school working with law finesse the whole digging in the crate school shout outs to everybody D I D I T C all of them just working with them just doing things with that I was getting it so if you seeing first time I ever got paid for what I was doing. Them checks was looking kind of great coming from being a, a 17 year old producer, and I'm in high school, and oh yeah, I'm pulling up to school and and OJ's, and I'm going different places, and I got it, it was just a beautiful time. Then I got stripped because I was unhumble about the things that I was getting, so I lost all that, and I had to start all over, and this is. The, the Peter Wayne that y'all see now Because if you'd have met me back then You, you would have never had me on your show I'm being honest You'd have been like no He's too He thinks he's that he's just, And at the time I thought I was that No you're not You're not that guy There's someone that's always Much more bigger than you Or more humble than you That's hungrier than you as well So what I do now I don't say much And perfect timing We supposed to have been Up here a long time ago Right But this is the time right now, 2015, Definitely. for us to be here. But Definitely. to answer your question, the first time that I got paid. <laughs> I thought you did <laughs> No, no. I, for a show, the first time I got paid was um, like when I was 16. Yeah. Nice. First time for a show, yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad you brought up about, you know, letting these young artists, because a lot of young artists, that, the way that you say you were, they're like that right now. Oh. And they think that, you know, because they got their friends and following them, and they wonder why they're not winning showcases that they judge. <laughs> you know, I ain't going to shout no names out, but, you, you, you know, you, got, see, you know who you are. Yeah, not only that, you got to start putting people on blood. It's like nowadays, and, I, and please, go into the chat room and comment on this. It's like nowadays, you got to start telling the truth to some of these artists. Like, dude, you know what? Um, your music is whack. I'm sorry. Like you need to stop and think about what you're doing because you have 20, 50 people that's in your clique going, yo, that's hot. But if you have someone like me and you or chaos or even the the guests who just left and go, you know, I think this needs that. Oh, oh you a hater. Oh my, how am I hating? Like you got 25 people telling you that your music is hot, but someone who knows about music is going, well, you need this, you need that. I'm a hater. That's why I don't say much. I'm like, okay, you feel that your joint is hot. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you need to, because I'll, yeah, I'll be nice about it. So you might want to do this, and they'll be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about? Dude, your stuff sucks. That's like trying to tell this man that just left from here how to make clothes, and they don't know nothing about making no clothes. You're not aware of them, but you don't know nothing right. about design, and you're trying to tell him what to do. Like, really? Right. Like, and they're weird. already doing it. And right. You, you don't even know what you're talking about. You come up there, oh, God, that's stupid. I mean, but it happens. It really happens and stuff. So um, how was it doing the Apollo? Oh wow! Which one? Which time? Cause all I, five times. Okay, the, <laughs> the first, the first, and there's a story behind this because the first time I won, I had, I had a lot of great supporters in the in the, in the crowd. Crazy, crazy shout out to Evangelist Mayo, Keisha Mayo. She has a, a book out, and this is a, a great plug. And she have a book out now called Deceive. It's in Barnes and Noble. So if y'all want a, a good read, pick that book up. She's going to be at Barnes and Nobles tomorrow. I think the twenty seventh. I forgot the address, but I'll put it on my Facebook page. Let y'all know. But crazy shout out to them who supported me. I had like seven people in the in the crowd at the time. I was being managed by a young lady by the name of Lana Christian. It was her. Keisha and her moms and Keisha's best friend and a couple other people. The second time, I had my school there because I, I was working at um the Bronx High School of Music. So they came in on the second show because once you start winning, you got to stay there. So they told you to bring change of clothes. Right. So I won the first time. I went back downstairs. I had to change. So that's when the different crowd come in. The, the second time, I went up against this girl named Keisha Tony. And I remember being backstage and Capone was like, you know, I can't say I got to be sensitive about it. But he was like, yo, you see how this she over there getting into you? And I'm like, yeah, she out there singing. She sung. And that's the time everybody wanted to sing um, Jennifer Hudson's or slash um, Jennifer Holliday's And I Am Telling You. Right. So here it is. I'm going up against this young lady who's singing. And I am telling you, how can I beat her with Never Too Much by Luther Vandross? So this is where the the show strategy comes in. She went out there and sung. I had to go out there and sing. Oh, okay. It's two different things. Two different I, things, yeah. I got you. I had to go out there and sing and perform, so that's how I won got past her. First time I was a runoff. As you can see, it was a runoff between me and a young man. Third time was like, okay. Fourth time, I lost against some children. <laughs> a pianist and a uh, saxophone. I had a run off with them. And I wasn't mad losing against the kids because they're the future. Right. I wasn't mad. I'm like, okay, I got beat by a bunch of children. They're the future. I would have been upset if one of the adults would have beat me because right. I'm like, but it wasn't no... Sandman man at the end a lot of people don't know when you go to the top dog on television back then Sam man he had a seat he wasn't out there to boo. you couldn't be booed top dog you just had to show your talent and I, I I thank God that I got I have that history and ever since then Apollo has been calling me for different events like the 80th anniversary I did that that was spectacular 80 years they could have called anyone to perform at the Apollo they called me, with you. and I'm doing something um, May 9th for the Apollo at Showman's up in Harlem. So Apollo, that's like my second home. All right. I want to I give uh, the people a taste of what you do. I mean, uh, Fred uh, sent me a lot of your music, and I downloaded it all in my phone. Okay. That's my traveling Thank music now. Thanks, man. <laughs> that's my traveling music. Thank you. But um, I definitely want you to do a little something. You got one there, Fred? You, you want me to do something live or you want to talk about the music? And before you throw the music on, what song are we going to talk about? Because there's a story behind each song. All right, pick one, Fred. Do don't Hold Back. Oh, that, don't hold back. <laughs> don't hold back with me. <laughs> don't Hold Back. That's Will Trax and Peter Wayne. Crazy shout out to Rich and Ken New. I'm in the house and Will, Will is spontaneous. He's Will Trax. Boogie Black, they host all over the city, and I and I look up to them because they like they host, they do a lot of hosting, but I'm entertainer. Right. Um, Will called me, was like, "Yo, I got this track for you to be on, man. Where you at?" So I'm home. I said, "Yo, just jump in the cab. I come over here." So I get over there, 
and I'm hearing the beat. So I'm a, I know music. So I'm like, yo, you using? Mm. He's like, yeah. What you gonna sing to that? I'm just singing this. I said, I'm gonna do that. So the rest is history, and we we put this out, and it's been it's been working for working for me, like different places, grown folk want. They hit me in my inbox. Oh, I need you to send me that Will Tracks and Peter Wayne song. I want to play that at my wedding. Like, wow, nice. <laughs> That's cool. You know, so, if you get the wedding, it's a wedding circuit, it's a wrap. Yeah. It's, so, it's a done deal right there. Yeah. So don't hold back. That's that joint right there. All right. Go ahead and rock that out for me, Fred. All right. Hey, oh, there we go. <laughs> You might want to make your way to the dance floor on this one. Oh man, I'm ready. Will Tracks, baby, the voice of the city. The world is waiting for Tracks, baby. Bang this in your whips, I'm bringing the groove back. Too much leaning on the wall, I'm bringing the cool back. Put work, feel good, hit the floor, all good. Don't stop, break a hill, just slide across the wood. Ladies, let's go. Fellas, join in. This acts for a dance, and that's how you win. See me? I got something for the world to do, like fun out. So go on and test your shoes. Right now, a few rules I need y'all to learn. I'm already turned up, so now it's sharp. Yeah, follow me. You know how we do in the club. Help yourself and show me some love. So help yourself to some part of your Put them all in the middle This is your night Somebody shine a light shine a light See more on. girly teeth for pearly Come on It's your show You know Laverne Shirley Roll out the home base And the way we go DJs cue me up Turn up my radio Roll to the spot They call me Woody Wood Spill drinks on your shoe Don't worry it's all good VIP on tilt It's all intimate It's just a two step They all into it Mr. the footwork And I got more to go So for now Just enjoy the show Let's go Come on Chance to set your mind at ease I wanna share my life with 
Now, there we go. That's what I needed. Thanks, Press. So, we're just going to go on a different topic and stuff because we don't said it like three times. No, nah, so. let's talk about that. Okay. So we, we're basically talking we're about. We're back now. Yeah, there we go. We're back. We're basically talking about like like your music's like feel good and you don't need to do the gangster stuff, but you was making a statement. No, I, 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 it can be done, but why should I do it? Because if you understand music controls people, it makes you happy, it makes you sad. It's uplifting. It can bring you down. Why am I cursing at you on my songs and calling women this and brothers that? Which we do say those words, but we try to keep that out of my music because I come from a, a, a Christian family and my moms don't listen to that music. And I don't want my, my, my people looking at me like, okay, Peter was really good. Like, you know. Right. I have respect, and I and I think that's what's lost in the music business. Like some people let the record companies control them. And one thing, crazy shout out to my manager Chris Powell. We create entertainment. He 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 is a, a, a creative source when it comes to the new Peter Wayne. Like, don't put this out. Put this out. Right. You know, even with my team that I'm part of, Team Phyllis. Shout out to my family, Team Phyllis. I speak to um, the devastating Tito, or I'm even talking to Mikey D, or Big D, Jared, and they were like, well, put this out, put this out. I got a lot of people that I converse with, right? This media, my man Miles, they like, don't do this, don't do that. So I have a, a team of people that has been around me, and they actually kind of say, like, don't do this, don't do that. Even down the red alert, like, yo, don't, don't do that. Take it, take it this way, take it that way. So I'm, I'm constantly either on the phone or I'm talking to them via Facebook, and this is I'm being coached about what type of music to put out and what type of music not to put out because that's not my style. Right. How, how important is that? Because there's a lot of young artists who just are so busy trying to get on, and they'll say like, uh, people say like, don't do that, or you need to play this because you want to get down and stuff, but it doesn't do nothing for them. How important is it to, to have people that you respect tell you, no, this is it, not you, don't it's, do it? It's great because these are people that you grew up listening to. Like, you got, like, come on. You got people like Red talking to you, Mel Star, Chaos, Bambada, or Mikey, D, Tito, all these people. Even some of the soul, the soul um legends, Phil Hurt, Paul Lawrence, hitting me up. Melissa, she talks to me all the time. Melissa tells me what not to do, what to do. Especially Allison Williams, she always telling me nothing but truth. Fred McFarlane, they giving me great advice like, don't go this route, do this, do that, do this. And it's a very, very positive thing coming from me being an artist because certain people don't listen and they feel that they know everything. I'm not too far gone in this music that I can't listen to what's being said to me to make me a better person as well as an artist because before all this like lights off and wardrobe and you take all this off I'm still 
a human being and my music reflects who I am. So like when you when you're doing everything like just say there's a young cat there's a lot of young people that look up to you. Now, what if, what advice would you give them if they ser- you know to get them serious about their craft? <sighs> well, this is going to go over some people's head. It's easy to get on now. You ain't think you, ain't, you understand what I'm saying, right? It's so easy to get on because you have internet. Everything is right there. How you get on and to stay on longevity. Right. How many songs we have out right now that you can say 20 years from now, when I'm 61, I can go, well, I remember this song back in 2015. Honestly, how long, how can we go back into our archives and go, that was a hot rap song back then? You understand what I mean? It's not going to happen. It's not. It's so easy. The advice that I give them, make timeless music. Okay. I like that. Make timeless music. Make music that person is going to go, oh, wow. Like, for instance, I have a, I, di- I didn't really understand how big this song was within my circle of urban party goers until I saw white people dancing to half past three me and boogie black that was crazy like they played it at a party and it was a diverse crowd of people there and i said how first of all i was like how did the dj find my song because i would never think that he had it but i saw a diverse crowd of people dancing to my song at a wedding in connecticut Half past three. I was like, wow, like, timeless music. So I have one of those. Like, what what more can I do? Do you think, like, R&B music is starting to become a loss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, it's, like, it's nobody's really just, like, off to me right now that could be, like, like, back in the days, like, Marvin Gaye and Al Green, their music is still off right now but you don't have to be off to be on that's the sad part about it look at how many people that can sing where are they honestly most majority of them are not on they get frustrated with the game so they give up i'm not i'm not frustrated because they hear the keyword is a game i can continue to play this game or i can continue to stop i'm not playing with this so you don't want to accept what I'm doing and and think the measure of success is how many cars you have and houses and money. It doesn't. That doesn't make you. To some people, it makes them successful. But my success is radio shows like this, doing the, the little things that add up that goes on to my resume. You know what? It's a. I got you. Yeah. I got you. All right. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Like, like, you've done so many shows. Like, if you just YouTube him, like, pages and pages just come up. How do you feel when you're just about to touch that stage? It's... Can I be... I feel like sometimes I don't feel like performing. Like, uh, I don't feel like performing. But it's like, like once someone gives me the mic or I know I have to go out there and do it. I'm a totally different person. I don't know who he is because this same person sometimes can't walk up a flight of steps. But when he <laughs> on, <laughs> when he on stage, he's moving around. Like for instance, what, like was it Sunday? What was it? It was like, yo, you bad. You look mad. Chris was like, you tired. I said, I'm tired. I like you. Right. I'm looking for an elevator now. But I was up <laughs> performing, and that's a joke. But. I have much, much energy when I'm on stage. It's like I'm a totally different person. I've, I've seen a lot of artists. It's like I've seen artists. I went to an old school review, and they was like barely making it behind stage. But they hit that stage, it, it was, it, it it was turned, total. Yeah. So I, those are the people that I respect because, you know, no matter what, you paid your money, you're going to get a good show. You have to. Or you know? You're going to talk about me like, oh, my God. He all big. He ain't want to move. Like, 
Nah, you all over the stage though. Yeah, I, I don't play, I don't play at the stage. I'm I'm on over. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now yeah. I, I want to play another song, but I want you to actually sing it. You want me to actually sing this yeah. song? So cool. um. Now he probably I didn't send those. There was one TV track that you sent. One of them said, actually said TV. I I get I, I I gave him um he want me probably saying I I need to know. Yeah. Can you rock that out for us? Okay. I, I'm assuming that's a yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take it like that. <laughs> like that's nothing to do. All right. Let's let's rock that out real quick. Cause I I want everybody because. I like when I have artists up here to do something live because, you know, people like, okay, like my group I work with, one of a kind, they was like, oh, these guys can't really sing. You just work with them. And I actually have them come up here and actually do their thing. And they destroyed it. It's a whole different thing. But you as yourself, you're a legend. I mean, you ain't got to sing. You know, you, your music speaks for itself. Thank you. But I, I'm just, I'm begging you on this one. Now you got to beg me. I'm here. Let's do it. And rock that out. Baby, I can't be wrong This feeling I have is all so strong Let me satisfy you every need If you let me I can't stop thinking about you, girl Ooh-wee oh, See, that's what I'm talking about right now That's real music Cut that, cut that down for me, Jack <laughs> That's what, see, that I was just I, a sample. I didn't think I could do that. I just had two Franks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Chris, <laughs> we done had two papayas, B. I'm uh, like, I got Frank. Pause. <laughs> I got, yeah, but that's hot. But <laughs> <laughs> I remember the last time I sung that song live. That, that's one of those songs, like, crazy shout to my man, DJ Bring Him Out, a.k.a. McBoo. When I did that song, I was high. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, I'm like <laughs> that runs one of the songs. Like, you like, give me the Pharrell of you. I'm like, you want Pharrell out of me? Okay, but that right there is a classic song. It's deep. Play, play that again. I, I like. You wanna do it again? That, no, because the. <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> let me hear the let me, <laughs> let me hear the lyrics with it because it's deep because he wrote the second verse with me. Right and. He always told me the second verse would be the first verse, and the first verse would be said. Right. And I'm like, "Are we still alive? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let, me, let me hear. Let me hear it with the lyrics. I got. I got it all. Down for me. Break that down for me. We're gonna go on break. I want to hear the song again. We're gonna go on break again. I don't want to. I want to hear it again and stuff. We're gonna go on break. We got my man Peter Wayne in the building. Hold on, hold on. I think I. Ooh, tell me, girl. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Is this love real? I remember that part. All right, all right. We got my man Peter Wayne, the original DJ Chaos. I am your boy, Mr. Dre. We got KB in the back, Chris Powell sitting on the side, Jay Prez sitting in the booth. We'll be right back. Throw that fly up there for me, um, Jay. And we're going on break. Like I need you I feel mighty fine, y'all <laughs> I got music on my radio New York Please is Please talk to him, Otis Feel mighty fine, I'll show y'all how we do this, man I got music on my radio Dynamic duo Batman and Batman I feel like I'm gonna kiss you Standing Shout out to all you robbers I'm gonna put the pause on
under attack It's been going on before I was born I never sold this loss in family store Back, we're back with my man Peter Wayne. What y'all just heard is two hot tracks. Uh, is this crazy? I'm gonna give it to those two hot tracks in a second. Got the original DJ Chaos on Mr. Dre, KB over there, Chris Powell sitting there, dictating everything, Good. making sure everything runs smooth. So make that's what sure we're talking about. Make sure I don't say something that ain't, ain't a, a, appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good and stuff. So. Yeah. Those two tracks, well, let's talk about the second track. What, what was the name again? Unhappy. Unhappy, okay. Unhappy was written around the time, um, actually, back in, I say November, December, when we was going through a lot in the city. Right. And um, you get, to, you, you know, we don't have a lot of that music right there. We don't have that. We don't have that. That's like the, the PE days, like UNITY. Remember those type right. of songs? So why not? What's wrong with the what? What happened to those songs now? You know. So I said I'm feeling unhappy, and the boom bap is missing in the music. That's that boom bap. Do you feel like there's a lot of artists is uh, they're so busy worrying about trying to get on instead of speaking to a voice of themselves? I think they're afraid. They're afraid that um, if they speak their mind, they won't get a lot of likes. They speak their mind. Record companies don't want to mess with them because certain record companies want them to be clowns. It's like they cannot. Can can I get an agreement with? They want them to keep dance it real. around with their shirts on and chains and you throwing bot. Dude, you serious? I own a business. Why do I look like popping bottles? Like you trying to buy the bar? I own the bar. What? T- big difference. It's total right? difference. You buying the bar and me owning the bar is. You can buy the bottles. Go ahead. Buy the bar out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, real talk. Like, a lot on. of these artists don't. I mean, a lot of these young artists, they see these videos and they think that's the way to get on. And, nah, I ain't doing that. And, and then a lot of them don't realize everything they see in these artists have, they really don't own. It's I call them millionaire idiots. <laughs> you got a lot of money, but you're stupid because that's what you have. You. you you're making music for a season, no long jeopardy, especially this trap music, especially this new music that's out now. And no disrespect to no one that's below um, Delaware, but we are following the trends of this, the southern rappers now in New York. Everybody want to sound like them down there. Thank y'all for starting the trend up here. What happened to New York rap? What happened to New York R&B? I'm glad you said that. I was, I was <laughs> looking happened? at an interview with uh, Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent. And basically 50 said, like, New York was back in the day was like, a trend Queen, yeah, Queens had their sound, Brooklyn had their sound, this and that. But now everybody in New York is trying to sound like down south. That's the only way they're going to get played on the radio because if you want to keep it real, they're not playing us down here, man. They're not playing New York music down there. <laughs> you go to no, I'm, I'm keeping it. You got to actually go up to the DJ and be like, yo, can you play some Jay-Z, man, down here? Can, can I hear some 50 Cent? You're not going to hear that down down south, honestly. But in New York, we quick to be playing uh, I'm in love with the whatever you want to call the songs. And they want to play. They're not, they're not giving us love like that. But see, the strategy is, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my strategy, a little bit. Should I tell them, Chris? strategy is I'm not worrying about your New York radio station I'm gonna say this again I am not Peter Wayne worrying about you all New York radio stations why because 
the world is big and outside of New York you have different other countries that have radio stations like you have they may not speak our language but they love our they love music. music and a lot of people don't realize this. <laughs> there's a lot of artists right now that pour crazy overseas. shout out to my ma- I can I I got a lot of man all I can say is the love the emails that I'm getting from India Bombay London yo your music is hot yo when you coming over here what's going on even shout out to our, our, our overseas listeners on this show right now. Book me. Thank you, America, for making me. <laughs> that I'm saying, America, thank you. It's it's tr- and let's keep it real. What? How many independent artists you know can go overseas and do a show and sell it out? Not a lot. Not many. Not a lot. Let's just think about that. That's a strategy. I'm not giving you no more. I'm not giving you no more ideas. But like I said, I thank for those. I'm thankful for those who are playing my music in America. I'm not knocking you all. Thank y'all. But y'all too, too much into a program system that you have to be playing this type of music, playing this type of music. While overseas, they just love good music. That's what they playing over there. Right. They love soul music. They keep doing it. And thank y'all for playing my music here. Empire Flow Empire Radio. F L O Empire Radio. Yeah. F O Close enough. Yeah, no. I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> F L O There you Empire. go. There you go. Thank y'all. So like um how do you feel how would you go about like changing that atmosphere of what you're talking about? Because there's so many good artists. And they get more play overseas than here. How can we go about It's crazy that? that you just said that to me, Dre, because I had this talk with DJ L.A. Love, and he said, you, it's like being a basketball player. I'm passing you the ball. You either shoot and score, shoot or miss, or pass it. What do you think I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make every shot. You gave me the ball, right? I'm going to shoot. Sometimes you know you gotta learn how to pass it, but if you keep passing it to me, you want me to score. I mean, I'm too big to be dunking it, so I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> shoot a three. Shoot a three. <laughs> That's this is a metaphor for Tuesdays. But those two songs. Um, Unhappy was written in a time where we needed to hear the truth, and that's what I wrote about. Half past three. Oh my God, that's me and Boogie Black. Crazy shout out to Boogie Black. Blaming on the Henny, he he's phenomenal. Like I said, him and Will Tracks both phenomenal. Um, Host, can't forget my man Ag, the voice of Harlem. All these cats that's been around me, but with half past three. I had the song, the instrumental, on YouTube, and to be censored with it, I got a call from Boogie, and he said, yo, take that down. We gonna do that tomorrow. I said, okay. And tomorrow came, Chris, we just made history. And that's how Half Past Three came about. All right. So, like, you know, like like you said, like, oh, we got to get out of here real soon. We got a show coming up right behind us. Um, Heroes Headquarters, I believe the name of the show is a new show. Okay. Um, how can anybody who wants to book you, anybody who wants to buy your records, which they should, anybody, anything, how can they contact you? Um, everything is Peter Wayne, P-E-T-A-W-A-N-E. To book me, I have several people that book me, but right now, to book me overseas shows, Chris Powell, what's your email address, Chris? Give my number. Um, no, I don't give my number. <laughs> I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can hit me up at my my Gmail at Peter Wayne. That's P E T A W A N E at Gmail dot com. Um, I got a lot, couple of shows coming up, and I I don't want to forget a lot of people because these are people who, who made sure that I'm still eating right now. So can I shout yeah, out some stuff? Do do March fourteenth, daytime party, um, Dave Shoe birthday extravaganza at stage forty eight. Guess who's on the lineup? It's gonna be Christopher Williams, Horace Brown, 
Jeff Red and Peter Wayne. That's daytime party at stage 48. The Dynasty at Papers and the Dynasty big birthday party for Dave Shue. And I can't forget my man, Dow from Original Violators Unlimited. That night, after I finish ripping it over there, I'll be out in Long Island with Les Boogie and the Fresh Entertainment family. Crazy shout out to them because they always keep me eating as well. It's going to be me, Glenn Jones, Melissa Morgan, and Del Farnes Review out in Long Island. We're in Long Island. Um, I can text you the address, but it's okay. at the American, I mean, African American um, Museum. That's the same night. Yeah. Uh, Hempstead, yeah. 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 That's the same night, March 14th. So March 14th is very, very busy. Um, this Friday, I'm doing a, a special birthday party up in um, Mount Vernon. That's with um, Doug Oliver and Craig Brown. They keep me working as well. Um, I got another thing coming up with DJ Swagger Lee. That's on Saturday. It's, um, it's called the Red Door Reunion. Oh, those who ever grew up in Harlem know about the Red Door. <laughs> Chaos know about the Red Door. Yeah, the Red Door was one of those. Yeah, it's a Red Door reunion with DJ Swagger Lee. I'm the host. You got um, Panama Red. She about to, she going to kill it. Crazy shout out to Guy Fisher and Panama Red. They going to rock out on Saturday with me at, um, um, yeah, at Perry Bishop Hall. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So, you know, if y'all want to find this young man, look, just go on P-E-T-A-W-A-N-E. There it is. Instagram, Facebook. No, Facebook is, uh, yeah, same P- thing. Yeah, yeah, all right. But Facebook and uh, Instagram and Twitter. That's what I'm thinking. This about. one thing that I'm about to say, and I know we got, we, we pressed up for time. We got, yeah, we got two this, what, what happened is Chaos got a song, and this is on my first album. And crazy shout to the four SMDs. We both have the same music to this song but I did the song first I did mine in 2010 you have Some it now? Like, yeah the song Good Someone are we gonna close S- the show out with someone. that Someone okay. yeah they rocked it they call those joints one two step my joint is called Someone so crazy shout to DJ Bet Rock because when he heard it he was like you gotta do something yeah yeah, yeah he heard <laughs> it like that was hot alright cool so, so we're gonna close that show out with, close the show out with that we got it. Heroes Headquarters coming up next. See, I didn't forget this time. <laughs> All right. So we're going to close out this show. Thanks for coming, taking the time out. Come on. I know you're Thank busy. You, you know, Chris got up here. Busy, busy young man yeah, right Chris there. Chris ain't sleep. That's a good thing. <laughs> I kept the show interesting enough to keep him up. I'm Mr. Dre. We got the original DJ Chaos, KB, back there taking pictures. Law Clothing Line. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. Google them. You'll find everything once you Google them, correct? There we go. T. Eli Models. There we go. I got you. So, J. Prez in the back. Uh, I check y'all out. Shout out Team Fearless. Uh, Mrs. Chaos. Team Fearless in the building, yo. Uh, who else I'm thinking of? Um, Zulu Nation. Yolanda. Did I say that right? Yolanda. I say it right? Yolanda. Yolanda. Oh, my back. Shout out here. Uh, Tracy. Everybody who support me. Love you. Play that track and we out. Put the flyer up there, J. Prez, for me, please.